I've never yeah. seen where you have no symptoms of low testosterone, uh, but you have, you're only having, um, you know, uh, diabetes, high cholesterol, what, what have you. However, I'll say this, you know, when in, in this scenario, let's say a patient comes in with this scenario, I think it's important to talk to them about what you just said. Like, look, you're maybe, maybe your, your uh, blood sugar levels could go down. Your A1C could go down. Your, your cholesterol profile can improve. And at the very least, you could talk to them, or at least I do, I talk to them, like, look, we even do a short course of testosterone because testosterone for a short period of time, for a month, two months, doesn't cause any, I mean, if you come off of it, it doesn't cause any deleterious effects. So you could do it for a short course of time, even if it doesn't improve your testosterone, your your insulin sensitivity or your cholesterol profile, at the very least, what it does, it gives you energy. What does energy mean? You're more likely to exercise. Mm-hmm. And that, that even indirectly, maybe you could even say directly, will improve your metabolic profile, right, as you described. So even if it doesn't act biochemically at those receptors, it can at the very least improve their exercise performance and, and doing so improve their metabolic profile.